What's going on, E Nation fans? This is the Impress 48 here. Welcome back to another video. And today, finally, finally, after waiting for all my birthday gifts to be here, I am finally doing a birthday haul for my 21st birthday. And man, oh man, I just, before I begin, I just want to say thank you guys for all the birthday wishes. You guys are the best out there. Same with my family, friends. I also appreciate the birthday gifts from the fans, of course. Thank you guys so much. Um, I only had one shot of alcohol, and it was Pinero? No, uh, Pintero, whatever the hell it is. Some Puerto Rican shot. So I guess I'm, I guess I'm one of those occasional drinkers, I assume. I don't know. Let's see. So, now, I'm going to show you, like, the, the small stuff, and then other things. And then the best parts. So yeah, with that being said, let's begin. So first off, I have a $25 Amazon gift card. And I got a $25 Uber gift card. I, to be honest, I fucking hate Uber. Whenever like I don't get taken to work, I have to waste my money on Uber to get me to work or drive or take me home. I don't know why Uber's a thing. I still hate it. I wish I had a car. Hopefully I can learn how to drive soon so I don't have to waste money on such crap. So yeah. I mean, no disrespect to my sister now. This isn't her fault. It's just I hate it. It's a waste of money. But with the gift card, I don't have to waste. I don't have to worry about wasting too much on that, even though I have to use it. So yeah, it's not her fault. All right, so the next ones I got are new shoes and I got these shoes right here from my from my uncle. Uh, I got these like a couple of weeks before my birthday when he got me th these shoes. I think these were his, but they don't fit, so he gave these to me um, before uh, he brought his dogs here to let me dog sit. And he got me these shoes like early, like six days before Thanksgiving. So yeah, still cool shoes. I do count this as a birthday gift. And my dad got me these shoes. These shoes right here. I'm size 10 on both. I'm where I'm like size 10 or 10 and a half, but pretty much mostly size 10. So yeah. Alright. 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 You know what it is. Oh yeah, boy. Oh yeah. Guess what I got, baby? I got a Bible, and this is the the sheer force of willpower. Um, I finally, finally got a willpower book, and it's so cool that I have a book from my all-time favorite indie car driver, The Goat, Willpower. I have a uh, Jeff Gordon book, a Dale Earnhardt Jr. book. I have a Phil Collins book. I have the History of NASCAR book as of... Like after 2016, and I do have uh, that book that J my good friend Jacob Hunter Reed gave me. So yeah, so this right here is amazing. I really hope I can get more like racing books, especially IndyCar books. There's so many good IndyCar books right now online. There's the the Indy Split, the Alonso Jr. book, the John Andretti book. Unfortunately, they don't have the Pop Page one on Amazon. I think those are out. But so cool that there's so many good books for motorsports online. So yeah. All right, now the best for last, I'm gonna show you diecast. Woo! All right, the best for last, and pretty much the reason why most of you are watching this video. And to be honest, I don't blame you one bit. Um, I'm gonna show you a diecast I got for my 21st birthday, and I'm so excited to show you guys. Who's ready? Who's not ready? Who cares? I'm gonna show you what I got. First up, I'm gonna show off the IndyCar diecast since there's two. This is Kurt Busch's 2014 Sherton Honda Delara from Andretti Autosport when Kurt made his first Indianapolis 500 start, and he finished six and won the Indy 500 Rookie of the Year. And I'm so happy to get this piece of beauty. And guess what? This is also my first ever DW12 uh, diecast. 
And the thing is that it's rare to find DW12 cars from 2012, 2014 that are like less than do less than $10 of free shipping online like eBay. So thankfully and surprisingly and thankfully, this car is not rare. And thank God you can still get it at a good price. So yeah, while I'm trying to deal with this, Hey, I think I got it. Uh, you can skip this if you want. All right, what you are about to see is me getting ready to open up and get a hold and feel a DW12 164 for the first time ever. Oh boy, because I love the DW12 cars. I'm grateful that I grew up with those cars. One of the, in my opinion, my one of my all-time favorite IndyCar cars. And oh my God, it's in my hands. Oh. All right, drop the phone again as usual. But anyway, here it is. Kurt Busch's 2014 shirt tone, Honda DeLara. And oh my God, it's this is this is so cool. Very, very cool to get a hold on to not only uh, Kurt's Indy 500 car, but for like a DW car in general. It's just beautiful right here. We got the... You remember the uh, pods? Are, are are they? Is that what they're called? Pods? Man, like, I mean, I do miss the car. I do miss these cars. Like, they were a thing from twenty twelve to twenty fourteen. Like, are you kidding me? Like, why were they switched to like the the ugly ass Arrow Kids? Um, twenty fifteen and twenty seventeen. Like, what the hell? What was wrong with this? Like, my God! And like. The DW12 brought literally amazing racing on the street courses, mainly the street courses. Honestly, uh, when I saw the the IndyCar highlights recently, like I always watch IndyCar highlights every year from like 2001, 2003, 2008 through the present. After each season, they don't have 04, 05, 06, and 07, by the way. But yeah, um, these beautiful cars, they were amazing. They brought in amazing racing on street courses like 2013, 2014, I think 2012, but it was the first year. So I guess they brought in good racing, but like 2013, 2014, oh my goodness. And, and also I'm expecting two more diecasts, but they're not birthday diecasts. And one of them is, let's just say that it's about um, Kurt's 2014 uh, cup car, um, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So yeah, this is Kurt Busch's 2014 shirt tone live Honda Delara. Next up for diecast, but sadly the best for last for IndyCar diecast. This is going to be a Marco Andretti's 2017 United Fiber and Data Honda Delara from, of course, Andretti Autosport. Uh, before Marco got to the 98, which was like the Andretti Autosport Arbasian. Fuck. And Marco Andretti was part owner of the 98 from 2018 to 2020 full season wise in 2021 Indy 500. So yeah, let's get this car out of this box. And also this is the first IndyCar diecast ever with the Aero Kids. And this is the road course um, version, just like Hertz 2014 car. Because back in 2012 through 2017, they made the arrow. They made the DW12s and arrow kits as like the the road course versions. So yeah, wait, how the hell is this easier to cut than the Kurt one? What the hell? What the fuck? Um, hang on. So I guess I don't have to. So I guess editing won't be too long for the Marco Andretti part. So yeah. Ah, fuck. Uh, hang on. Ooh, boy. Even though I hate the Arrow Kit cars, from, uh, the road course version from 2015-2017, because it's just ugly. But I'm just happy to get these in diecast. So, yeah. Hang on. Oh, okay. All right. So, I guess I gotta either tear this. All right. All right, oh, hang on, I gotta like cut this one out. 
All right. I guess that's all I have to do. And here we go. And here it is. This is Marco Andretti's 2017 UFD. And it would be awesome if my phone can stop fucking dropping when I'm uh, when I'm trying to open opening up diecast with those kind of packaging. That would be awesome. Maybe if the packaging was like clamshell, wouldn't be as difficult. And know this would happen. I don't know. That's just me, and it's annoying the hell out of me. So yeah. Anyway. That being said, this is it. This is Marco Andretti's 2017 United Fiber and Data Honda Delara. And this is the uh, the Honda Aero Kit with the road course. Yeah, like the road course version is just the ugliest thing I've ever seen. But I'm happy that I still got these in die cast. I like, you know, I, I'm just trying to collect more indie car die cast. Even though I'll always keep collecting motorsports die cast. Hey, I'm trying to like keep going with indie car because indie car, fuck yeah, brother. But this is amazing like anybody remember the the pylons the what are, what are they called lead pylons or something right here anyone remember these i thought these were awesome like it was cool it's cool that imsa still does it it's cool that indycar did it until like the end of 2018 like what happened to those i thought it was the coolest thing ever like very very cool and um yeah once again here are the pods um <laughs> yeah but the, the, the reason why i i hate the arrow kit uh road course indy cars from chevy and honda is because just the way um the rear wings were designed it's just ugly and um that's just my opinion and the shark fins it doesn't make it better with these kind of rear wings to be honest like here it, like here's the dw12 and the uh, arrow kit cars. Look at this. Big difference on the shark fins. It's shorter. And then, honestly, like the way the rear wings were designed on a road course version, even though this is supposedly an oval ver uh, car, it's still cool. And it looks a lot better. And this right here, oh my god. This is not even an indie car. And these cars ran like, sp like sports cars, as David Land would say. And I agree. And ever since the, IR the IR18, Became a thing in 2018, they raced like Indy cars again. And a lot better, raced a lot better, and looked a lot better than these cars. So, yeah. I know y'all didn't hear, didn't want to watch this video hear me complain about the how Indy cars should look, or what's pretty, what's ugly. You're looking at a birthday haul and diecast, so yeah. So these are the only two Indy car diecasts I bought. However, uh, I, ex I am expecting one more Indy car diecast. But it is not, it does not count as a birthday haul. It's not a birthday diecast because I got it, I bought it the day after my 21st birthday. Same thing with uh, a Kurt Busch 2014 car. So yeah, stay tuned to that, by the way. Alrighty, let's not waste any more time. Let's get to the NASCAR 164s. And I bought five new NASCAR 164s from eBay. And let's not waste any time. First up, this is Elliot Seidler's 2011 One Main Financial Chevy Impala from Kevin Harvick Incorporated. Anybody remember that team when he owned uh, NASCAR Capital Truck Series team and H5 Series team? I remember Kevin Harvick Incorporated. Good times. And, and man, this takes me back when I used to watch like nationwide races, mostly Saturdays on ESPN. Yep. Good, good times. And Elliot Seiler, uh, he went to Kevin Harvick. Uh, he was in Kevin Harvick Incorporated 2011. And then Harvick shut down his NASCAR teams. And he went on. He went on. And and Seiler went on to Richard Childress Racing, the Joe Gibbs Racing, the Roush Fenway, the Junior Motorsports. Oh my God! As a Seiler fan, Seiler just kept jumping and jumping and jumping to different teams. And Sadler ran this beautiful paint scheme, the Impala, between Kevin Harvick Incorporated and Richard Childress Racing from 2011 to 2012. And it's going against Stunhouse out of all people for the championship. First 2011 and 2012. And you know, you, you know the deal. Uh, you know what happened. Um, Stunhouse won the championship two years in a row and Sadler... Uh, kept having championship implications. 
and Phoenix and other stuff. So, yeah, but that's okay. At least he won 2016-2017 non-chase championship. And I'm not just saying this because I'm an Elliot Sadler fan. Uh, everyone knows I despise the chase. But, yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about that. I've said enough as of now about it. So, yeah, very cool car. What I want to do with Elliot Sadler when it comes to diecast, I want to collect a bunch of his nationwide Xfinity cars because I'm an Elliott Sadler fan and that's something I want to do as an Elliott Sadler fan is to collect his nationwide Xfinity cars. So yeah, I have his um, 2015 Roush, 2014 One May Financial, 2018 Junior Motorsports so far. So I guess you can say this is my fourth Sadler nationwide Xfinity diecast. So yeah, now on to the next one. All right, next diecast is going to be on my all-time favorite NASCAR Truck Series driver. This is going to be on Ron Hornaday's 2000 Napa 75th anniversary Chevy Monte Carlo from Dale Earnhardt Incorporated. And as a Ron Hornaday fan, I became a fan of him when I started watching NASCAR trucks back in mid-2009. And as a Ron Hornaday fan, I wanted a Ron Hornaday diecast. There was not any Ron Hornaday diecast that was like less than $10 free shipping. I know, I know I'm cheap, but still, I mean, come on. Who doesn't want to get a diecast that are like good prices and cheap? Come on. But anyway, so yeah, I really wanted a Hornaday 164. And um, yeah, this was like $8.99 or $9.99 with free shipping. And out of all diecasts, this one got me the most excited because it's Ron Hornaday. He was my all-time favorite series, uh, favorite NASCAR truck series driver. And um, yeah, this is very cool right here. Like, th this is the same paint scheme, but except that it's gray to celebrate the 75th anniversary of Napa. I wonder if there was. I wonder if there's like a cheaper price of his normal Napa uh, Napa car. From the Bush Series. And also, yes, it's another Bush Series diecast. I do love getting NASCAR Bush Series diecast. And it's on my one of my all time favorite NASCAR vehicles, the Chevy Monte Carlos from 2000 2002, when they had the, um, the, uh, the curvy, uh, uh, rear bumpers and spoilers. It's just so sexy, dude. Same with Pontiac. It looks great on them. Not yeah, too bad Dodge and Ford didn't join them. But yeah, this is Ron Hornaday's 2000 Napa Auto Parts. 75th anniversary Chevy Monte Carlo. Woo! Next up, this is going to be on Clint Boyer's 2015 Maxwell House Toyota Camry from Michael Waltrip Racing. And I'm very happy that this diecast is not rare because... Because it is a Michael Waltrip car from like 2015 and a lot of NWR cars were not made. Like only... Boyer's was made. Like only his youth car and his maxwell car and i'm happy that this is also like cheap price i guess i this is 6.95 free shipping from k-state on ebay yes k-state diecast does have ebay and oh my fucking god i got this car yesterday and i got the saddler car today on mail and um yeah and um yeah so this is clint boris car and i gotta say this is a beauty like the fact that Michael Waltrip Racing kept doing chrome wheels on his team, on, on his cars. It's just amazing. It just goes well with the paint scheme as well, in my opinion. Especially with the, the badass Toyota Camry. Honestly, out of all the Toyota Camrys in the uh, disgraceful Gen 6 car, this is my all-time favorite uh, Toyota Camry body from 2015 to 2016. Yet, lasted short. It lasted short. What the heck? It's everything I love that always lasts short. So short. So, yeah. Very, very cool. Lovely die cast. And lovely paint scheme. And he ran this at the second Martinsville race and the second Texas race, I believe. So, yeah. This is Clint Boyer's 2015 Maxwell House Teddy Camry. Next up, this is going to be on Haley Deegan's 2020 um, uh, board. I mean, wait. Uh, built for tough. Hashtag trucking into 2021 Ford F-150 uh, from DGR Crossley when Deegan made her first start at Kansas. And I got to say, of course, um, I wanted to get this truck, not only because it's not a truck, but 
it's just the box design and it's just another die cast as well and uh i'm trying to get oh my god oh. i'm just trying to get this out of the box um okay there we go all right so this is deegan right here getting ready all uh, right and this is like my fourth truck ever um fourth ever truck die cast so yeah here we go this is deegan right here beautiful beautiful die cast beautiful paint scheme and um oh my god there's the fact that uh this was the the the, the teeth the sharp teeth was added on this uh paint scheme oh my god it's just, it just makes it more badass and more beautiful and it's just a very very cool paint scheme i think on her arc one of her arc cars the tota car i think the sharp teeth was added on that one i could be wrong but i'm just happy that the deegan arca cars are still easy to find and cheaper like less than ten dollars free shipping so yeah maybe i might get those one of these days hopefully soon who knows but this is but this right here beautiful and i think she finished in the top 20 like 16 i think just wanted to get some laps in so yeah this is Haley deegan's 2020 built for tough for performance f-150 this final die cast is going to be on jd mcduffie's 1991 sons auto supply medford speed classic trophies pontiac grand prix Back when JD McDuffie owned his own team since like the mid 60s. And yeah, I know the, the decals are very crooked, I know. But I wanted to get this diecast because not only because it's JD McDuffie and because like he's getting a bunch of respect still to this day, getting more recognition. It goes to show uh, what small teams go through every week of the season. And Jaden McDuffie owned his, uh, owned his own team. He never finished on lead lap. He did finish like top fives, uh, some top fives, some top tens. And never finished on lead lap as well. I know he led 116 laps of a race. Could be wrong. But unfortunately, JD did uh, suffer a fatal crash in this exact car right here. And he still missed to this day. Unfortunately, uh, his wife passed away as well. But hey, at least they're together forever up in the sky with the big man. And I'm just happy to own this piece of beauty right here. Like, JD McDuffie is honestly an icon when it comes to not only in NASCAR, but also in the when it comes to like small teams and all that. He's a legend. And I'm forever grateful to have this piece of beauty right here. All right, everybody, this concludes my 21st birthday haul. And as you can see here, here are the gifts. It's got the shoes. I got the the Bible. I mean, uh, a willpower book. Um, got Kurt Busch's 2014 short tone Indy 500 car. Marco Andretti's 2017 UFD um, gift cards. And I got Elliot Seiler's 2011 One Man Financial. Ron Hornaday's 2000 Napa 75th Anniversary, Clint Boyer's 2015 Maxwell House, Haley Deacon's 2020 Built for a Tough, and J.D. McDuffie's 1991 Sons Auto Parts Medfield Speed Classic Trophies. So yeah, um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Don't forget to follow my don't forget to let I me mean, i don't care about i don't care about advertising my own social media but yeah anyway uh don't forget to you know don't forget to turn on my youtube notifications for more content thank you guys so much for supporting you nation oh and before i go i do have i did mention this earlier but i'll say it again just in case i am expecting two more die casts one is a nascar die cast the other one's an indy car die cast so yeah um so yeah i just want to let y'all know but i'm not gonna say what it is but y'all gonna love it especially the indy car one so yeah uh thank you guys for all the birthday wishes this is the impress 48 signing off goodbye everybody